Hello everybody, welcome to the play-ins final round, final phase. We have Strider 84 with Lizardmen versus Ashraim with Dark Elves. Ashraim is the 2-0 person, which you may find hard to believe as he has two Dark Elf Assassins with Dodge <laughs> and Strider is Strider, but... Ashram has come through from the winner's side of the bracket. I mean, he's still got Dark Elves, right? Okay. Assassins aren't the best players in the world. And he's foregone dodge on two blitzes for them. So, like, it really is a pretty rubbish Dark Elf team, but it's still a Dark Elf team. Still got 11 players, uh, two rerolls and an Apo. But, you know, I would have rather not had Assassins and rather have dodge on the blitzes. But, hey, uh, one wrestle, one block, which... Strider's gone for the bog standard six block, obviously, and uh, he's got a skink, chameleon skink, which he plays. He plays on defense as well, I think. Uh, bizarrely, not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Maybe he wasn't. Maybe that was somebody else. But he's playing on offense. Free catch chance sometimes, isn't it? And but move minus move. I think is rubbish. I wouldn't play it. I wouldn't play it personally. Um, and he's gone. Twelve players, two rerolls apple. Yep. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big i I'm not a big fan of the communities. Like movement seven is just you know, you want your ball carry to be the fastest player, not 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 the fastest. He didn't do a complete anti blitz setup here, did he? He was quite lax on the anti blitz setup. Um got away with it. He's gone because he caught it. He's able to completely secure the ball in an in a in a not very good Venger bus. To be fair, right? Like it's not it's not an optimized Venger bus at all. There is no guard on the team. I mean, he could close the back the back door, but he hasn't. Not maximizing blocks on the LOS. Very strange. He wants to greed the Crocs hit and get it on two guys. Or maybe three if he rolls the ball down on the Blitz, I guess. Do you remember two guy from uh, Blackburn? Yep. He blitzes the blodger. Had he blitzed the lineman, he would have got the both down and knocked him over. Very bad play, in my opinion. Going for a 55%, well, going for a 30% knockdown instead of a 75% knockdown. And also the potential of getting the both down and leaving the, you know, clearing the crocs and leaving the crocs on three players. Not what I'd have done, who can say, if it's good or bad. I think overall they're bad Agralius because they're a weak link, right? They're armor seven. I guess having dodge on them makes them less of a weak link and more likely that somebody tries to do something to them. And here's Ashram, thrown caution in the wind, double dodged, puts in the reroll turn one. He's been on Reddit. Reddit says blitz the skink. Ashram said, yes, sir, I shall blitz the skinks. Even when I have to double dodge and expose afterwards. No problem. Strider does have a reserve, so he can foul.
was one on his dodge. Crocs gets a KO. Oh, he apples it. Instant apple from Ashram. That's fair enough, right? To turn one KO. So even though it's just a lineman and he's only got 11 players and there's a very strong potential for overtime, he instantly uses... This is why I dismissed Dark Elves as an option. Because, uh, you know, 11 players and an apple. Or, or you can go 12 players rather than 11 and an apple. You can go 12 players and cut the assassins, which is obviously better in my opinion. But, <laughs> with overtime, but even then, like, you know, 12 players and 2 rerolls is just not a really good combo. Like, I, I just don't think they're that good men down. And it's why I didn't really like lizards, you know. Obviously, lizards are strong. Loads of people have gone lizards. I don't like that you've, you know, that you, you've you got to choose between the 12th man or the 3rd reroll. I just feel like there's just not enough. A guard on this is very atypical, isn't it? So the fact that the assassins get a small bonus versus a very small subset of the population doesn't seem like a great selling point to me. So now he has blocked off the front of the Venger bus, and his plan is to blitz this guy and then put him in there to make. You know that's that. You know then then you then you do get the finger bust to only make a one D. Oh, he pushes it this way. Not what I would have done. That's really weird. Why has he done that? Why is he? Did he think he had frenzy? Why has he gone that way? Oh, so he can bracket, but he. Mm, I don't understand. Why not just blitz him away? It's really weird. Now he one in nines the skink dodge and dies. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Doesn't. No justice. Diced. I mean, this is pretty good having this guy like double ended by Saurus, right? Because it's a huge commitment to blitz this Saurus and then you still gotta give him two assists to block the other, so you don't really wanna mess around with it, you just wanna three two him out. And then like blitz a different Saurus or whatever. Maybe make loads of dodges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI. Two dodges and a GFI, maybe you'll try. I don't know if uh, I do uh, do you know what somebody could in chat could educate me. Because I, I don't know something here. See, this is why I'm always right. Because I uh, I admit when I don't know things. I don't know why some people don't want to admit when they don't know something. Um, I don't know uh, if stab is the same as it always used to be. Or if they've changed it. But I do know that stab used to be... Um, it didn't wasn't affected by stunty. But if it's affected by stunty now, then it gets a bit better, doesn't it? Super interesting. Le Dublé Skulls. <laughs> but, I mean, that's not a good play, is it, Agradius? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? A 5 plus dodging for a stab is not something you should be trying. He does re-roll it, he gets the pow. And it's a really good pow as well. Oh, okay, it's not not doing it that way. Okay. I thought he was gonna pow him to here and then chain away the assassin. I thought he would have had two stabs at him if he stood up. But he didn't, he just wants to make an extra 1D. Okay. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, like, you know, and, like, in Blood Bowl 2, you could blitz without it counting a square of movement, right? 
So like, if it had like the bugs, if it was heavily bugged, stab would become a lot better option. <laughs> <laughs> there could be there could have been some off meta picks in this, you know. Right, I may as well. I shall believe you, but I won't repeat it to anybody because I haven't read it myself, but thank you very much. But it might it might affect things in Blood Bowl two in Blood Bowl three, right? So it might be a bit better in Blood Bowl three. Does he accept this dub skull? He does. Very disciplined from Strider. He's gonna start off by getting stabbed in the face. Before standing players up. Come on, stab him. Stab him. No, stab him first. No, oh, blitz a skink first. Does nothing. I mean, isn't blitzing a skink better with an assassin, right? Unless you're going to base the ball, okay. Like, that's one thing where it stabs better, isn't it? Blitzing, the, blitzing a skink, it's better to just stab him because then it's like, you know, like the push doesn't matter much. Hasn't stabbed yet. Is he going to block? He's going to block. What a nerd. What a nerd. He could have just stabbed him. But he's going to block him. Doesn't he even follow? So what he could have done was... Okay, well, he's pushed him there. So so what he's got now is if he blitzes him, he can, he can shadow him, can't he, into the square. But what he could have done was he could have powered him to here and followed him in. So that if he blitzed without thinking, he would have folded him into the ball. Like the shadowing might affect things sometimes. Yeah, modified arm is the injury is the thing. But anyway, I mean, I can read it myself at some point. But because like, again, you know, like this is why I'm always right. I always read things myself and try not to, well, try to read things myself rather than just believe what people have told me. I'm sure Hamez knows his stuff, but you know. doesn't blitz with him. This is a very easy clear, isn't it? He might even just blitz the other one I was thinking, but he's not. He's blitzing him. Because he could have moved this skink over, right? He could have moved this skink over, then he could have blitzed this guy, powered him, and then pushed him into there for the block away, which I would have quite liked. Three D, but do you do the blockless two D first? You really don't want it. I mean, seeing as he's eating that dub skull, I don't think he's going to go for the blockless two D first. That's not about trust issues, is it? It's just people, people can be wrong. Isn't it weird that it shows that arrow and then, but this is where he's actually going. Injury cannot rub, you know, in my family, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the way it's always been, right? That's the way it's always been. But that isn't to say that it will stay that way. This is a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Yeah, he's got to move over and, and X cage. So now the 5 plus dodging for a 2D is on. Which still isn't something I would be super happy about, but it's something that he might consider. 
Nope, he's gonna go. No, it's still on. I wonder if he will consider it. Yeah, you can use a secondary frenzy, yeah. Thanks, Hamez. The question is, is, like, have they FAQ'd Stunty to be a modification? Because I'm pretty sure they did, right? I'm pretty sure they did FAQ that to be a modification in the old one, which they probably have done for this. And certainly that's how they played it before, anyway. So it's how you'd expect they'd carry it to be on. But I don't know how they do it on Blood Bowl 3. And then, plus that's the thing, right? You don't know that they do it correctly in Blood Bowl 3 either because they didn't in Blood Bowl 2. In Blood Bowl 2, it was affected by Stunty. Very big lack of stabbing here from Ashrim. I'm very disappointed. He should totally be stabbing. Uh, she was stabbed first. Well, this is the this is the thing, Ben Bobaggins. It was it was FAQ'd as it counting as a modifier in CRP. Well done, Mad Skills. It's not easy. Nothing is easy in Blood Bowl 3. Oh, makes us 3 plus. I did, yeah, Chunt. Are very happy. Well, second in Player of the Month. Zebra has three touchdowns in three turns. I've got no idea how he did that. I haven't bothered uh, watching the video, but I, I read it and I was like, that's mental. It's the only time I ever made a, a play that Dimmy G thought was good, though, Seabro. So, really, my one should have won. No, three, three touchdowns in three turns seems bizarre. What, did it straddle half-time? Or was it, were they, like, two defensive one-turns somehow? Dub scold re-rolled into both down does nothing to him. See so two defensive one turns. It's gotta be right. Two two defensive one turns. That's pretty cool. Assassin OP doesn't even get armor armor seven broken. Outrageous. And then a blitz. So it was only technically in three turns. <laughs> <laughs> Three turns and a blitz. Okay. Well, not quite as impressive. <laughs> pretty good, though. Pretty good, Steve Rose. Pretty good. Pretty good. All those times where we say it's not over. All those times when we say it's not over. We can now point to your three touchdowns in three turns and say, see, this could happen. This could happen. <laughs> Don't say it's over. <laughs> oh. So is he going to go at the front? Yeah, he is. Yep. He's really serious about the dodge in, isn't he? Really serious about the dodge in, is old uh, Strider. I think, like, you know, I mean, he did get a lot of free movement here. Maybe it's the th he thinks it's the only way Ashrim can stop him. Weird. 
weird. Four behind here is terrible, yeah. Four players. Four movement seven players. Four of your best players in a fucking square behind the ball is fucking weird. I don't know how that happened. That's terrible. Terrible, as Artemis would say. I don't think I bothered watching yours, sorry chunts. <laughs> I might watch the others. I watched all of mine that I submitted. <laughs> it's quite good having the cage here actually, isn't it? Because now you can't put anybody there. So like these guys can only come back around here, which is giving them a bit more space down here as well. This is pretty terrible for Ash Rain. But you know, maybe he can get enough back to screen. He's still got a few turns left, hasn't he? A couple more turns. So maybe he can uh, get these guys around enough, cut corners with dodges a bit. I'm surprised. I, I'm surprised my uh, my surf got more got went got the second place instead of the other thing that I did. Something stupid where I just rolled a one and died or something. <laughs> I thought that was better. <laughs> I just entered everything. Everything vaguely interesting that happened in the month I entered. So I entered about five things. Two of them were getting me. F two of them were me getting fucked by the dice. <laughs> I remember that. I, was, I don't like this because he stays behind the ball, doesn't he? Like he stays behind the ball by doing this. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not. Who can say? If it's good or bad. I guess he wants to, you know, he just, just kind of squeezes him a bit, doesn't he? Squeezes him a bit, squeezes him into this space. Maybe he thinks he can get a, a turnover out of it. It was just a push, wasn't it? He could surf the Witch Elf if he wanted, couldn't he? But then he doesn't get to go forward. Maybe he'll be tempted by the witch surf. He's got to go forward a bit. Like he's turned six, right? He, you know, it's pretty hard to get forward versus dark elves. And he's got the ball on a movement seven because, you know, reasons. Diagonally left on two pals. Which isn't great, is it? But I'm, I agree, you should have done this block first, see what happens. But he seems very conservative, Strider. I don't know if he knows Ashram from Tabletop and has decided that literally the only way Ashram can win is if he dices him because he's playing like mega conservative. Mega conservative. I think. The Elliot way, yeah. The Elliot way versus 
random dude in ladder. Which, you know, random dude in ladder isn't very good at Blood Bowl. And the only way they can beat you is if they, like, you know, do a 5 plus sack. A 5 plus 1D ball sack or whatever. That's the only way they can beat you, so he does his best to stop that and... You know, maybe, I guess Strider plays a lot of tabletop, and I guess most people are terrible on tabletop. So maybe that's just how he plays on tabletop. <laughs> and, and you know, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good playing playing super conservative. It really is. You're only going to not need it versus, like, you're, like you know, it's only going to be bad versus, like the very best players, isn't it? And even then, you're only losing X amount. Like, you still it's still a trade-off, right? It's still a trade-off, the extra penetration or chance of penetration that you might get. It, it, you know, like, you're still giving up ball security. It's, like, it's not... Do you know what I mean? Like, generally, you have to play riskier versus, say, Elliot than you do versus, you know... Random fella, but you know, yeah. I mean, we, yeah, exactly. See, was it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy, but that's what that's what you have to do sometimes. <laughs> I mean, not versus Elliot, of course. Versus Elliot, you take any penetration you can get with Elliot, <laughs> but but somebody not as good as Elliot, well, they're not worthy of penetration, are they? <laughs> Dimmy's Dimmy's the best. Eleven three one with uh with knobs. Eleven three one with him knobs. Over fifteen games. Honestly, if you can go eleven three one with Imperial Nobility, then you can go like seventeen O and O with a normal team. Over 15 games. God tier. Dimmy's the champ. Let's <laughs> do you Oh dear. So he is just in range, isn't he? And he can get a little bit closer. And you know, you can't really screen versus him because he'll just roll a bunch of threes, but he'd still rather not roll a bunch of threes, wouldn't he? There's not enough over the other side at the moment, but he does have this blitzer who's going to blitz a skink. And do nothing. Reddit lied to him! <laughs> Shrim can't believe it. Where are you now, Reddit? I kind of hate that that this is so open, right? You can block and then uh, and then block and come quite far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe GFI and get Crocs right out in front. Who knows? He got diced. Yeah, it's the only way Dimmy loses, isn't it? I mean, it's got to be. He went eleven three one with knobs. <laughs> the worst team in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Literally the worst team in Blood Bowl 3. All three seasons, it's been the worst team in Blood Bowl 3. I don't, Daboom. It just makes Dimmy's achievements that much more special. He could just blitz this guy, I guess, and then, like, you know, more or less stay where he is. Or he could three dice blitz and stay exactly where he is and then have the reroll for next turn. Could move up one square. He's thinking about it though, he does have a few options. He doesn't have to blitz this guy, right? He doesn't have to blitz this guy. He does go for the blockless block. He's only got one reroll, that's the issue, isn't it? He does get the pow. Look a dog. So, 
Honestly, with that block and this blitz, I wonder if he should have already moved the crocs. I guess it doesn't matter too much. I think he's got a GFI. Because he's movement 7. I don't know why. Oh, oh, see? Like, you, you could have scouted the crocs, right? You could have scouted the crocs move before he did the blitz. And even the block. So I, I like quite liked scouting the crocs move there first. Can he stay where he is now? Kind of. But I guess he's going to move over anyway. <laughs> the glorious Burt record. It's the only thing I have from Blood Bowl 2. Oh, this is uh, a bit dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> Instant one. What's he going to do with a skink? Dodge or something? Do you shoot a play, guys? I see an amazing play here. Don't know whether he'll go for it or not. He'll see it himself. Chunter might shoot a play, guys. I shoot a play, guys. It's an amazing play. I don't want to say it because I don't want to be accused of giving Ashram advice. But it's an amazing play. A really amazing play, guys. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what he does. But there is a pretty chunter play available. That's all I'll say. It's not even it's not even like that hard to spot or that much luck required. Like it's really pretty easy. It's actually really pretty easy. So he should see it. Like I, I no, I'd go so far as to say he's bad for not seeing it. Right? He's in the play-ins for five grand. He should see this. Maybe he hasn't, or he's thought against it. So the brilliant play was you put some players first. He blitzes the skink here, and then uh, I guess he could still do it with this guy. Right? I was going to do it with the assassin though, who's free. And then you block him, chain him, which goes in, hits the ball. It's fucking easy. Like it was fucking easy to do as well. That was so easy. Holy shit, that was so easy. I think he should have done it. He could have even counter-scored as well, right? He could have even counter-scored as he's got the blitzer here, suddenly free. He's got loads of open players. He's got like fucking five open players or something. It was easy. He's got dodge players. It was proper simple. It was so simple. Like, he didn't need to fill many spots up, right? One, two, three. He only had to fill up three spots. Because he blitzes him and he fills one. So you need this one, this one, and this one. So you need three open players. And then I get, you need... Th this guy can count can cover there, or this guy can cover there, either one. Because, you know, to stop that, so it's a 2D. In fact, no, because once you put somebody here, it's already a 2D anyway. Oh no, so you put somebody there first. So you need somebody there to stop the assist. You need somebody here to stop the follow-up assist as well. So you might as well put him in there on a 1 in 36 dodge. A player there, a player here, a player here, and a player here. And then you 2D him. And then you... Uh, in fact, you put a player there first, right? You put a player there first. And this one behind. And then you do the hit and see if you get the push. And if you get the push, then you move the two in there and there. And then you, uh, you might even 3D him, I don't know, it might be a 2D, probably a 2D, it doesn't matter. Push him into there. Then then put the player here. And then you've got two and a two with block. Tanks, Chunter. I mean, it could have been amazing, right? But like, this web of tackle zones is all right, isn't it? But.
It's only all right. Like, it's just an instant 2D with block, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 was what? 2, two 3 plus dodges. A 2D with block. And then. Now that he's pushed him here, <laughs> it might be better to blockless block and then blitz this guy. Yeah, it is too passive, isn't it? Like he hasn't got any rerolls to be fair. Like if he had, if he still had a reroll for the Dodgers, uh, block him, block him, blitz him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. So three, two. Yeah, that might be better. You probably got to block the. You've got to probably got power blockers and stuff, which adds three percent failure states, doesn't it? So it's interesting. Super interesting. Ta 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 ta. -ta. I wonder if you, you could. So what you could do is one, two, three, four, five. That's nice. He hasn't got the reroll as he says. Powering him is no good because you'd have to GFI the hit. Uh, so he does try for this way through. The push, I think, wipes that route out, doesn't it? So I think now it's block this guy and blitz this one. Probably best. I guess you could fill these two squares in and push him to there and blitz this guy. And then you've got one, two. Oh, in fact, blitz, yeah. So he blocks him to see if that's a pal. So I guess see if either of these are pals and then see if that changes what you're doing. So you blitz him and try to pow him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. So is it three, two? With dodge better than a than a uh, three three with dodge probably not right probably the three three with dodge is better so he's trying for the blockless block but he hasn't got anyone who can blitz does he? Well, I guess this is just a GFI, so this is better, right? If he's gonna, if he's gonna do the three-two, this is just, oh, he can blitz that one. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. He can blitz him. Okay, he can blitz him. I thought he had a GFI this guy, but of course he can just hit the assassin. Oh my god. I just, I literally thought he had to blitz the other guy. For, amazing, isn't it? The tunnel vision, the tunnel vision when you're like you're playing and stuff, and and just see something and like zero in on it. <laughs> it was so obvious; it was just there. Yeah. Flip me. So yeah, that was. It was a bit dodgy, right? The block was block because that's just the same as a dodge. Um. But. That was better than a dodge and a GFI or two dodges doing the 2D. Yeah, that was the problem with the L screen. Like the pushing him in, pushing the skink in destroyed the screen, didn't it? And even if he hadn't, it would have been two three pluses, right? Like it would have still been two three pluses with dodge. Which like, you know, if he went total brainless. If you went total brainless, it's still just two three pluses with dodge, which is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty likely, right? 
74%. Oh, they're both the three plus with dodge and the GFI is 74.074. Oh, they're the same. Three plus with dodge is exactly... They're, they're both the same. Three plus three plus with dodge is exactly the same as a three plus two plus. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? It's exactly the same. Like, obviously, the team reroll makes the, the dodge GFI better. Yep. Indeed, mad skills, yep. Nobs. I mean, anything can happen in a game, right? Anything can happen in a game. Like, everyone loses to the worst team. And, you know, everyone who played Blood Bowl 2, like, over a thousand games or whatever, lost to Halflings or whatever, didn't they? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure someone will bring... Oh, there's no AAB, so you can't prove me wrong. But, you know, pretty much everybody who played, like, you know, even halflings, like, 20 times lost to them once, right? I even lost to Bretonians, for God's sake. You know. <laughs> I even lost to Bretonians. What a tragedy. I lost most of the time to space. Got wrecked by space. Yeah, I lost to Ogres. I lost to Ogres a few times. Yep. Nobs, 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 blitz. Ooh, the blitz does matter because uh, he's got some people up in case he rolled a blitz. Well, and to protect against chains a little bit. Interesting. He could actually, like, chain somebody back here, couldn't he? He could, like, he could put in this guy here and he could blitz him and chain him back. He's not, but he could have done. There is no shame. There is no shame in having a losing record as face. He's a lovely fella. And uh, dice happen, don't they? I don't think this will be a, <laughs> a one-turn score here. Well, he's, he's moving with purpose. So... He gets the push. Maybe it will be a one turn. I wouldn't bet on it, but maybe it will be. Honestly, I don't think it's worth trying. Like, it's so low. He could have surfed. Like, he could have tried to. Okay, but couldn't surf. But you know, he could have tried to have done something. <laughs> Defensive setup, I don't know. Like, I think it's really unlikely that he scores the uh, one turn. So I guess that's the minimum amount to make it, like... It's probably good, right? It's minimal stopping it, but it's probably enough. And it doesn't, like... If you do, like, the, the side grid, you could just surf somebody with a Witch Elf. And that stops him just surfing somebody. And he's almost certainly not going to score. Like, it's a ridiculously difficult one turn. Four Saturday. Yeah, I lost to Bert. What a tragedy. This is like a 30%er as well. It just, just, just happened. Nothing I could do. Should have just stabbed. <laughs> Should have just stabbed, mate. That was re that was so sad. <laughs> that was so sad, listen to birds. And he wasn't making the last block with with a witch hour, I think it was just all terrible. Yeah. I mean it's a it's a hard one to earn, right? So I don't mind doing this setup as that does the bare minimum to stop it, protects your skinks. Nobody gets surfed. Quite reasonable setup versus move seven one turn. 
with Frenzy. He's got to bench the Chameleon Skink now, surely. Surely he has to bench the Chameleon Skink now. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty sad. I was really sad when my witch elf died in Aero BB. Um, so, with 12 players, it, it does slightly improve the chance of you one or two turning, right? Because it gives you a free chance of a catch, first of all, on like, uh, you know, a decent amount of the time. If you put him here, for example, you've got a, you've got a pretty wide net for a free chance of a catch. One, two, three, like, you know, it's however big it is. If this is the thing... It's like you've got quite a huge square that you might just get a... Well, 49 squares, isn't it? You might just get a... Uh, you might just get a catch. A catch chance. And then, you know, he's moved seven, but with the three from from on the ball kind of makes him movement 17 over two turns, right? And movement 10 over one turn. So he's a bit faster, kind of, when it comes to uh, a one turn and a two turn. And he's got extra PA as well. So like, in progression, he's 10 more TV. So you don't want him as much. But in this, you've got the 10 TV spare. And if you've got a 12th man, which you have to, to have the 10 TV spare, then he's not terrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I mean of course, but that's real though, Sada. That's real. I mean that's EAB going is like way worse than anybody losing a match or a player, isn't it? the ball but it's on the witch the wrestle witch which isn't a a great player to have it on is it you would rather be able to wrestle with her <laughs> didn't put in blood for her <laughs> yeah. well the assassins have basically done nothing right they've been dodge linemen this game pretty much they haven't showed anything of their assassin assassinness. I guess you can argue they've threatened cage dive stabs. But he's defended against cage dive 1Ds anyway, so... But, you know, assassins are a bit similar to uh, to the chameleon skinks, right? If you're just going to put thirty TV into uh, into assistant coaches, why not have two assassins or an assassin and a runner? I'd at least have a runner rather than an assassin, but you know, like they're a wood elf lineman, aren't they? And they're basically the same cost. Like, there's the in progression, you're paying 15 TV, but in this, you're not really playing 30 because you would have nothing anyway. You would have assistant coaches, which are basically worthless. So, when you're not actually paying TV for them, they're just a wood elf lineman plus instead of a dark elf lineman, right? So, they're really not terrible. As much as I mocked them. But I just think a reserve is better than the Apo. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. 
He does like this shape, yeah. I guess he's thinking it stops skink bullshit, right? Having the uh, having the extra layer. Yeah, put in those guys to get good value out of the crocs in it on three players. It's not easy to rescue those guys at all. You get plus movement though, uh, Emily Ripost. You get movement, right? So like, you're not really paying. This is the thing. You're not really paying because you know you're not getting anything. So if it was on a ladder, you know, or a league or anywhere, you're paying the extra fifteen TV. But when you're not actually paying the extra fifteen TV, because the alternative is assistant coaches that are worthless, you're just literally trading you know, movement for AV. And you're getting stab for free and shadowing for free. You know, that might do something, right? There's a chance they do something. They are, if you take cost out of it, they're strictly better than a Wood Elf lineman. And a Wood Elf lineman is 70 TV. So they, that has to be worth something, doesn't it? It has to be worth something being strictly better like if you take out cost and you do take out cost once once the alternative is you know one and a half assistant coaches i think anyway I, i've got no that that like i i think i had like an, an assistant coach for my uh dark for my dwarves and it's like that's just wasted money right it's just nothing Does the 3D he gets nothing? He's got a 3D with a skink now. If he does, he gives a hit away. No, no, not necessarily. Yeah, the middle one. Yeah, the middle one goes back. <laughs> he gets the pal. <laughs> gets the AV brick. <laughs> So last turn he put a big commitment over there, and this turn he's put a massive commitment here, but it's all behind the screen, so it doesn't matter. He might go for the Crocs now, because he could tag this Saurus and blitz him. Nope. I mean, I, I, I hate Assassins in Progression. But then they're not as bad in uh, in this. The thing about this is, you know, games are quite likely to go over time. So paying, paying, well, not paying, having another armor seven, you know, means you're more likely to be down men for overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Please stab something. This is the problem. Even if you made assassins good, right? How would you make assassins a good player? Just by making them war dancers with stab instead of leap? And they'd still never stab. You'd just take them because they were war dancers without leap. <laughs> it's like... so yeah, he doesn't try the 4 plus dodge out. Just leaves that guy. Stuck between the Crocs and the Saurus. Which is okay for uh, Strider, I guess, right? Like, okay, he's a bit isolated, the Crocs, but. And you are using two players to take care of one, but as long as he uh, stays 
Like, you know, they're still like holding space on the flank. Oh, that's not, terrible. Ugh, not broken because he's armor 7. Sad. But he's a target still, isn't he? Like, they're going to get hit more just because they are targets with armor 7. Oh, well, he's moving the crocs. I quite like just leaving him there, honestly. Well, he's going in. He's going in. Very aggressive. Oh, surf. Oh man, I mean, I'd be pretty tempted to, to go for, to go for this sir. <laughs> maybe I'm stupid, but like, everything looks pretty terrible, doesn't it, so I would hate it less because of that, and yep, he's going for it, maybe, probably. Doing that first action is a bit ballsy. Well, the way you do it to Boomer is just roll the dice first and see what happens. <laughs> Which is clearly what Ice Room is going for. No, I think he had to cut the corner because he's going to be stuck on the sideline here, isn't he? Oh, maybe not. There you go. Gets the surf. Not like me. I mean, he ha oh my god, he gets the cards. Does he apple? I guess he does. Yep. Yeah. And the apple works. Look a dog. I mean, the obvious thing was the surf there, wasn't it? So now whether that was a, a trap surf by Strider or not, he, like he has a GFI, right, to stop the skink uphill. Whether that was a trap surf or not, I don't think so. It's pretty easy to, to, to protect, isn't it? You can just go there and block. Ooh. I guess he gets to counter surf the the assassin. Maybe he can uh, blitz with this guy. Yeah, yeah, this guy can hit the ball at the moment, but you've just got to dodge to stop that. Oh, the skull. He got really lucky with the skull because he could have just pushed him and chained him to there, right? Like, I guess he moved this this guy there, stops that a bit. 
Could just five plus dodge with three, four, five, six GFI. But I guess he's not gonna. Yeah, that was weird giving up the serve. I didn't, didn't like that from Strider. I wonder if it was worth that guy going three, two, two, and then standing there just to, uh, like obviously it probably wasn't going to work, but at least it would have taken away the chain push guaranteed. But yeah, he's got it. He's got a surf here, hasn't he? I think, and then run the skink through and block some things. Yeah, run the skink first because it's no dice. Oh, but, <laughs> but now he gets to surf the Saurus! <laughs> oh no! Now he gets to surf the Saurus! Oh, he powers him, that might save him. The arm break really helps. Like, if this wasn't an armor break, he just goes 3 4, doesn't he? He comes out, GFIs, which else surfs him. And then move everything back. Like, that was. Oh. That was really weird. Shouldn't he have followed and, like, run away? Oh wait, it wasn't an armor break! This is the bug, it showed an armor break and it wasn't one. Oh my god. So he can, he can still make the surf. He's got no fucking players left, nine. Three out. So he's got eight. And he's got two stunned. And one totally isolated. But you can just literally put two there, surf him, run him back. And then have the ball screen. So I don't, I don't even hate this. This surf. <laughs> no, not totally. People said sometimes it, it shows when it's not an AB break, and that was one of them, wasn't it? There's no mighty blowing play or anything. I just thought maybe these people were being stupid. Um, <laughs> or like, you know, maybe it was something like they got hit with mighty blow and so they showed it yeah it was this it was this saurus it was this saurus knocking over this this blitzer rolled an eight so maybe it's, maybe it is when they rolled an eight is when is when it shows oh Oh god, what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is he doing? I've got no idea. I've got no idea what that was about. No fucking idea at all. <laughs> I don't know how he's used three players to do basically nothing. He's got four... He's like, these three players all had dodge and could have gone places and done things and they just all managed to do nothing instead. And he's just instantly going to get two diced. That might be a bit, little bit shit. Artemis might have an aneurysm when he, when he does the replay of this. <laughs> I've got no idea what he was thinking. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, he miscounted something, but I just don't know what he was trying, you know, like... Some, usually you can work out what somebody was trying, right? But I just don't even know what he was trying. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's a, it's a British saying, lead. I'm not actually wishing. <laughs> Wishing harm on Artemis here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I just don't understand. I just like I've got no concept of what his idea was. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Yeah, I guess put it put her on the Crocs. Probably doesn't re-roll, right? Just puts her on the Crocs. Very conservative, his strider. Plus, like, he's kind of got to be right in the second half because it could easily go to overtime. Even if he gets the power, it could easily go to overtime still. So has to has to play it totally safe. <laughs> I wonder how he'll get dice on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, surfs him, surfs him off. I mean, doesn't even need to uphill, right? 1D, 1D surfs. 1D surfs him away, and then uh, does whatever she wants. Stab this, stab this Saurus. First. And then move him there. And then, uh, surf. Simple. Simple surf. 1D or 1D. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then he blocks. Pushes into there. Then she surfs. I mean, this is great. If he gets this stab off. If he gets this stab off, this is pretty good. I mean, that probably is a freeing chain push, but the freeing chain push is nowhere near as fun as surfing two Saurus. <laughs> is it? <laughs> stabbing, a, stabbing a Saurus and cazzing him and then surfing two and cazzing them. Good, I'm glad he rolled a one because you should have stabbed first. Then you wouldn't have had to do the dodge. Bloody stab first! Uh, he's gonna 1D with him. And then, uh, dodge surf with a blitz, with a witch elf. That was okay, I guess, in a way. But. It's not over yet, no. No, it's not over yet. I mean, elves can do things, man. Elves are annoying. Oh, shadowing, shadowing. Shadowing does nothing. <laughs> it's so rubbish. <laughs> that is, it's not even half the battle, is it? It's more than half the battle. Yeah. Well done, well done, Sea Bros. And glad you dodged him. Oh no, you weren't in the winner's bracket, but every, everyone in the winner's bracket who dodged him will, will have been happy, I'm sure. Yeah, it is sad that Shadow, they took one of the worst skills and made it even worse. <laughs> oh, wow. Glorious Sunrise. I thought it'd be boring and shit. I thought it'd just be, you know, losing 4-0. I'm glad that it's wild. Can do it after this. If it's over. Mm. 
This has been quite a long match, hasn't it? Just start the second half. It's shit that we can't catch up to a live match, isn't it? I guess we can cast, we can just watch it live and then I'll do like the full replay as well. Puts in the reroll. The classic, the classic lizard. Only need your, only need your reroll for the, the pickup on the opposing drive. <laughs> classic, classic lizard man play. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, so now what uh, Ashram should do is declare a blitz from the assassin to the skink and see if it's still see if it's still bugged in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> That's the play, isn't it? See if it's still bugged in Blood Bowl 3. Let's go. Ah, oh, he's just going to try and push him. Uh, it's a lot of rolls, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. And then one, two, three, GFI. It's doable. It's doable. 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 No, oh, he doesn't even do it. He thinks basing the ball is good enough. I don't know how to tell you this, Ashrain, but it isn't. <laughs> it isn't good enough. No, he was basing the ball. He was, he was just trying to base it. And he's losing 1-0. So basing it doesn't do anything anyway. <laughs> I guess the problem is if he moved these guys, then he wouldn't have scoring threats. So... He should have declared the stab and see if it worked. Like, he literally just chained him to get where the assassin could have got anyway. Move the assassin back to push him forward. Didn't make any sense. But he should, he should have done the assassin and then declared the blitz and see if he could have stabbed him when he got there. Or, you know, tried to push the assassin with the second hit from the... Which somehow. Like he had two other players, so like maybe you could have got those two other players like in a row, so and then like go for an uphill push into a two or one D to, to push the assassin. Something. Well now it's over. Now you can say it's over. Oh, look at that! <laughs> An emote. Brilliant. They can't type in chat, but they can do a little emote like that. Brilliant. Not a dicing, was it? It was just, uh, it was just Strider playing better than Ashrain. Um, yep. GG. Please end the turn. So we can go and watch an Aryan's game. Please. Please end the turn. It's over. Ashraim. Please. Please end the turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very good odds of going overtime, isn't there? Like, you know, two two reasonably matched players. There's a very good chance it goes to overtime. You're not counter scoring, Ashraim. End the turn, please. You're not scoring this turn, just end the turn. Good. You deserve that for wasting all of our time. 
And now you're going to spend 20 seconds to choose the skull, are you? Oh my god, mate. I guess Strider will score. Could just end the turn and win 1 0. He's already spent 5 seconds longer than he should have done. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yes, there is no more chat in case you don't know. Um, so there you go, that was it. Um, congratulations, Strider. Uh, it comes through the loser's bracket because he got diced by Seabros. I don't know how much of a dicing he was. I thought Seabros played quite well. Um, Ashram wins his first two games and then goes out with his first loss because this one round isn't double elimination for some reason. So, you know, bad luck, Ashram. Commiserations. Congratulations to Strider. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.